Hello friends. Here I am going to discuss mainly about five frame capping process. Okay. Look, this is a structure of premature mRNA. And this premature mRNA consisting of and it is made up of this premature mRNA it is made up of nucleotide monophosphate. Whereas the first, whereas the first nucleotide present at the 5 prime end of mRNA is existing in the form of a triphosphate nucleotide triphosphate, whereas all other nucleotide inside the mRNA is existing in the form of a nucleotide monophosphate. So, fibrin capping means cell is adding a modified guanosine nucleotide called 7 methyl guanosine at this end or fibrin end of messenger RNA. Okay. So, this fibrin capping involves the participation of different kinds of enzyme. So, here I am going to discuss about what are the different type of enzyme needed for fibrin capping. First type of enzyme which are helping for fibrin capping is triphosphatase, triphosphatase enzyme. This triphosphatase enzyme, first of all, cleave the one phosphate group out of this three. So for triphosphatase, Clean or remove one phosphate group from the nucleotide triphosphate, leaving diphosphate. That is the function of triphosphatase. That's all. And second type of enzyme is called gonocyl transferase. Second type of enzyme is called gonocyl transferase. Gonocyl transferase. So the function of gonocyl transferase is to just add. A nucleotide triphosphate called GTP gonosyl triphosphate at this end or 5', five prime end. During the addition of GTP by gonosyl transferase, this is a structure of GTP, it consisting of ribosugar and a nitrogen base called guanine and 3 phosphate group. These 3 phosphate group are always bonded with the fifth carbon of ribosugar. Whereas the nitrogen base called the guanine is bonding with bonded with the first carbon atom of ribose sugar. That is the structure of GTP. So during the addition, during the, during the addition of GTP by guanosyl transferase at the five prime end, this diphosphate attract the alpha carbon. This is alpha. This is beta. This is gamma. So, during the addition of GTP by guanosyl transferase, the diphosphate present at the 5 prime end attract the alpha carbon atom of incoming GTP. Okay. Creating a 5 prime, 5 prime. This is 5 prime and this is also 5 prime. Forming a 5 prime, 5 prime phosphate bond. 5 prime phosphate, 5 prime diphosphate bond. Okay. So, during this process, this bond get breaks, leaving two phosphate in the form of a leaving two phosphate in the form of a PPI that is called pyrophosphate. So now the five prime end of this premature mRNA is occupied by gonosine nucleus gonosine. Okay, gonosine. This is called the gonosine. This is called the gonosine. Okay, that's all. So. Then next type of enzyme is called N7, N7, methyl transfer, guanine N7 methyl transfer. Third type of enzyme is called guanine N7 methyl transferase, guanine N7 methyl transferase. So the function of guanine N7 methyl transferase is to add one methyl group is to add one methyl group into the seventh position of guanine, seventh position of guanine group. This is a structure of guanine. It consisting of four nitrogen. Okay, four nitrogen. Okay, mainly four nitrogen. This is structure of PMD. Okay. It consisting of one, two, three, four. Four nitrogen. And it is also consisting of fifth nitrogen. This is called the guanine. 
So the main function of zoning N7 methyl transferase is to add methyl group into the seventh position of guanine. The, this is the guanine seventh position of guanine. This here. Okay. Now the name of this guanosin is N7 methyl guanosin. N7 methyl guanosin. That is called five and tap in N7 methyl guanosin. That is the five and tap. Okay. This guanine N7 methyl transferase also add methyl group into the second OH group of the sugar, second OH group of the second OH group of the next nucleotide, second OH group of sugar present in the next nucleotide. Not here, incoming nucleotide, next nucleotide, second OH group of the ribose sugar present inside the next nucleotide. So here this 7 methyl gonosin is called this 7 methyl gonosin is called a cap 0. Like that, adding methyl group here and that modified the cap is known as cap 1. This 10 7 methyl gonosin also add methyl group into the next ribose sugar, into the ribose sugar of the next nucleotide, and then this is called a cap 2, cap 3, like that. Okay. So here Adding methyl group by going and so methyl transferase is called capping cross cap 1, cap 2, cap 3, etc. Okay. So here the source of CH3 adding into the seventh position of in second OH group present in the ribose sugar of succeeding nucleotide is coming from or the source is yes adenosyl methionine. Yes adenosyl methionine. Okay, that's all.